I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay bacon out on saran wrap. Okay, and you're gonna what you're gonna do is overlap like this the bacon all the way down the size of the pan you choose to use. All of my bacon laid out on the pan, uh, overlapping each other. I happen to use the wider strip bacons. That's your preference if you want to use a thinner uh, sliced bacon. Uh, and I use 10 strips because that's what came in the packet of thicker bacon. Uh, you can use as much as desired to what you choose you want to use to the size pan you're using. So now that we've got that all done, we're going to come on over here. I'm, uh, we got chicken breast. Yeah. Um, I'm using the thinner longer chicken breast as you see but you can use the wider chicken breast if you desire now we're going to do is we're going to take the chicken breast and you can lay them all out on the sheet and do them if you can get it done that way but we need all, all you're going to do to uh, try to achieve is flattening like this okay the chicken breast so you want them flat like that now that you, uh, i have them all flattened out like so as you see we're gonna go ahead and lay them on top of the bacon like this. Now that you have all of your chicken laid out, flattened on top of the bacon, we're gonna take broccoli, okay? And you can just lay them on like this if you want, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna separate the broccoli like this, and you're gonna start laying the broccoli all over the uh, chicken breast. Okay, so now that I have all the broccoli spread out, it's gonna look like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some baby bell cheese, little mini baby bells. You're gonna unpackage them. And what you're gonna do now is, you're going to lay them on like this. Okay, and you're gonna follow suit all the way down the pan. This is how it should look, just like that. We have that completed. Now what we're gonna do is, very carefully, we're gonna roll this. So, like this. Okay. All right. So we're gonna roll that, like so. So it should look like this, and you're gonna twist the corners like that. So it should look like that. Okay, so once you did that, you got the wrap nice and tight, which I believe is important. You're gonna slowly pull the wrapping off so you have it looking like this, where it's nice and wrapped. Now you're gonna bake 350 for approximately one hour, depending on your oven or until it's done. Your discretion, okay? So we're gonna do that. For one hour, we're gonna take a look at that bad boy. Woo, look at that. <laughs> Eating good. All right, I think it's done. It's been about an hour. We're gonna go ahead and check it. Oh yeah, it's done. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, look at this. Look at this one. Don't knock it until you try this. Woo! Look at that, look at the cheese. Oh yeah. Look at the cheese on there. Oh yeah, come on. This is gonna be really good. Let's just go ahead and just cut it. Like that. Separate it. Look at this. Look at it in there. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? Nice and cooked. Melt it. We're going to go ahead and try this right now. Okay, so I've got it cut. I'm going to go ahead and scoop up a little bit here. We're going to go ahead and set it down like that. Look at this. Ooh! Mmm! Bacon! With that chicken breast and broccoli and cheese. Oh yeah, we're gonna get down. <laughs> Let's try this together. Goes down. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. <laughs> yes, I do like it. I do. I definitely recommend if you like bacon and the combination together, you're definitely going to want to try this one. Until next time, I'll be here. I hope you'll be there.